Hello all, welcome to this episode of our Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. Happy Thoughtful Optimistic Thursday. Today is October 24th. Hello, I'm Casey. And I'm Abby. Soar Sycamore Junior High, do the bees. Be safe. Be responsible. Be respectful. And be a problem solver. Thank you for doing the right thing and making good choices. Now it is time where we all stand with our fellow aviators, place our hands over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. Thank you all, and please be seated. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Hello, thoughtful, optimistic people. Keep being amazing and making this a great place to work and learn. Be informed. Yes, be responsible and remember to check your emails, know your important emails, and delete the old. Make plans for next week to make sure you do not go in the courtyard during classes. This, the courtyard doors will be locked during class times and unlocked for bell changes only. Okay, next. It's clubs and activities announcements time. All 7th and 8th grade boys and girls tennis players, even those who do not play on the school team, should attend on planning a meeting today with Coach Teets. Again, that meeting is today in Flex. Okay. Hey, Sycamore Junior High, Andrew here. And Carter here with some last minute breaking news for clubs, activities, and special announcements. Today's tennis meeting for all 7th and 8th grade boys and girls will be in the main gym, not the Ox Gym, during Flex Belt today. Again, that's the main gym, during Flex Belt today. Also, plan to wear orange and blue or SC Cincinnati Spirit wear this the coming Monday to support SC Cincinnati's first playoff game on Monday, October 28th. Go SC Cincinnati. Thanks, and back to our crew. Power of the pen! There will need be no power of the pen practice tomorrow because we won't be here. Hey, have you seen the Lost and Found lately? No, but if you're missing any belongings, please check the Lost and Found before you leave today for any missing items. All unclaimed items will be donated at the end of the week to a local charity. We the People. We the People is an academic club for Sycamore Junior High School students which teaches the history and principles of the American constitutional democracy while promoting students' understanding of the government. Students will learn about the importance and influence of the U.S. Constitution and Bill of Rights. Club members will compete at the 2025 Middle School We the People Showcase in Columbus. There will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, November 5th at 7.15 a.m. in Junior High Room 2151. Club sponsors are Mr. Gudermuth and Mr. Brenner if you have any questions. Be informed! Know your calendar! The 2025 SJHS yearbook is on sale now. Purchase today for the lowest price of the year. The low cost is $32 a copy. This price will increase to $35 next week on October 31st, 2024. All junior high ghouls and ghosts, get ready to show off your creative costumes this week. That's next week. Here are the guidelines to keep it fun and safe. No weapons, no masks, dress code applies, keep it classy everyone. And. No disruptions. Costumes should let you sit, learn, and move without disrupting any others. Remember, let's make this Halloween a hauntingly good time while respecting our school environment. Next up, Character Awards. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation, Mr. Rodriguez and Mr. Stern here this week to do our character awards and uh, trying to recall where we went last week. I went to Mrs. Farrow's class, they were amazing. I went to Mrs. George, also amazing. Fantastic. So uh, we had a great uh, week meeting lots of new students, and I have uh, no idea. Oh, wait, I think I do know where we're going this week. Okay. Uh, we are going to uh, Hurley, All right. I think is one, and, uh, and James. Fantastic. You Hurley. could have said any name. <laughs> and I would have said, absolutely. Yeah, we have we have no we we know it's alphabetical, but we still have no idea. And we're doing all seventh grade first, so right. we've been in the seventh right. grade classrooms. So um, the one that I chose this week, I, I'm going to get a little. 
philosophical, I guess. Um, it it kind of reminded me, me of a poem um, by Robert Frost. So some of our students might be familiar with Robert Frost if they've ever read The Outsiders, Nothing Gold Can Stay was by Robert Frost. But, you know, one of the poems he wrote was a poem called A Time to Talk, and, and it's just about this farmer, and he's really, really busy, and all of a sudden this guy kind of drives up, and he's like, hey, and the farmer kind of, like looks around at kind of all the work that he has to do and and he thinks to himself oh man I'm busy but instead of uh, going back to his work he, he puts all of his work down and he walks over and, and spends some time time with his friend instead of mm -hmm. just like waving and, and walking away it kind of reminded me of Marvy here that's our uh, character winner uh, that uh, that uh, one of them that we chose this week this is Marvy Verma and it says you make sure to leave time for me just so we can talk daily. You make me feel that I am at least special to someone. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. So, um, Marvy, you do a great job uh, making sure that you have a time to talk. And, you know, time is something that uh, it's free. Everybody has it, and, uh, but not everybody gives it. So. That's a great point. That's actually what my character card awesome. is also about. So maybe that's the theme. Uh, for this week and maybe next is giving people some time. Giving, giving of your time. Um, this one says, Safa is a kind person and a great listener. A great listener. Yeah, that's that's Not that. a great, I hear you, but a great listener. Um, I enjoy telling her about my day and she knows how to make me smile when I am down or make me smile overall. So, Safa, nice job for giving someone time and giving them an opportunity uh, to talk to you and for you to listen. Yeah, and so um, we're going to go visit them in their flex bell in just a minute and uh, make sure that they get uh, two uh, large uh, pizzas from Papa John's mm -hmm. because they are our sponsor of our character awards. Um, so like we said, uh, we're going to Hurley and James this week. Uh, we'll be doing that on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Great work, students, and those are some wonderful acts of kindness. Way to treat each other nicely. Well done. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to student celebrating, Margaret R. Enjoy celebrating your special day. And also happy birthday to those who celebrate over the weekend. Mason B. Asher F. Nathan F. Nathaniel M. Chance M. Charles P. Haley S. Hunter S. Liliana B. Olivia R. Julianne R. Adam R. Violet M. Samuel O. On V. Kelsey W. Musalama Y. Hope you all have a great time celebrating your special day. Next, joke of the day. I once submitted 10 puns to a joke competition. Whoa! I was really hoping one would win, but no pun intended. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Make it. Have a great weekend, make positive PBIS chases, and, and go, go Waves! waves. Is there anything new that we need to know for next week? Yes, did you know that all the exterior doors around the building will be closed during class time starting next week? No, I didn't know this. Thanks for letting me know this information. I know, no, not to go outside of the building during designated class time to avoid being locked out of the building. Hey Sycamore Junior High, Principal Shunk and Officer Kassam here. We want to share with you some changes that are going to occur starting next Monday. Um, the way you move around the building is going to be a little bit different because we have a new feature on our courtyard which allows us to electronically lock and unlock those doors. So right now there's three doors in the courtyard that you can move throughout um, the courtyard. So the one by the main gym, into the academic area, and then by the media center. And those doors are now only, starting on Monday, are only going to be unlocked during bell change. So every 45 minutes, they're going to unlock for four minutes so that you can move about the building. But during the school day, or during your bell, I should say, like during class time, it is going to be locked. So that means that if you need to, during your class, get across the courtyard, you will not be able to do that. You're going to have to go around to the music area um, and down the athletic hallway to get across the courtyard. And this is a reminder that we're doing this to keep the building safer. Awesome. All right, guys, so we're gonna put out a bunch of reminders this whole week. News crew is gonna be doing a lot. 
but that's one big change that's going to happen next week on next Monday. So don't get locked in the courtyard next week. See you guys.